This is also fascinating. Steny Hoyer uh, is getting a um, a challenge. Um, I support her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, the end segment. Steny Hoyer, exactly. Second uh, second most powerful Democrat in, in the House. Uh, often at odds with Nancy Pelosi um, on some issues, um, which you know tells you something. This is a guy. If you thought uh, Joe Biden represented credit card interests uh, and corporate interest, uh, let me introduce you to Steny Hoyer, and uh, he is in Maryland's fifth uh, congressional district. And um, you know, one of the things that I think uh, Digby made the point. It is the case. There is a. There is a big deficit of leadership in the Democratic Party, it seems to me, amongst my generation in particular. Um, and uh, Steny Hoyer is almost 80. And uh, look, I'm all in favor of, uh, of 80 year olds, 70 year olds, and, and this and that. Um, I tend to, you know, m- many of them are stuck in politics in the past. Um, and, but it, it's quite clear that the future of the party lies in people who are in their, uh, twenties and, you know, their thirties to a certain extent, but, but, but the, for some reason there's a huge deficit for, of people in their forties and fifties. I have theories about that, but, uh, nevertheless, um, people in their twenties seems to be the only ones who feel like who actually, you know, it's almost like, uh, they, they actually have that audacity of hope. Like they took it seriously. Right. right. Um, and a lot of people who took Obama's words seriously and didn't like his policies. Well, it, I think, and they could have gone one of two directions. They could have gotten completely cynical about it, or they could have said, like, we're, we're going to take the rhetoric and actually put it into action. Uh, here's a woman, uh, Michaela Wilkes. And I, and I don't know much about her, I got to tell you, but this is a pretty brave way to start your campaign. Uh, and I guess maybe from her perspective, it was the only way, but she was not, she's not going to let that stop her. Listen to this uh, ad. I didn't think that I would be where I am today. Chances are that I should be unemployed in jail or probably even worse. I'm running for Congress for Maryland's fifth district, but getting here has definitely not been easy. When I was 15, I was placed in juvenile detention facilities for running away from home. There was even one instance where a guard threatened to hold me down and cut my braids out if I didn't cut them out myself. I was even jailed for driving on a suspended license. I was seven months pregnant living paycheck to paycheck. I couldn't afford to pay all my tickets and court fees, and I had no choice but to drive or I'd lose my job. We need a criminal justice system that offers rehabilitation instead of exploitation. This is why I want to end cash bail. I want to end the failed war on drugs And I want to make sure that pregnant women are treated fairly in prison. And I also want to get rid of the predatory rates that prisoners and their families are forced to pay in order to speak to their loved ones. Families shouldn't have to choose between putting food on the table and making a phone call to talk to one of their loved ones. Our representation is so out of touch with the people's needs. Even worse, they're funded by those who profit off our most vulnerable. Check out the rest of my platform online because we've got a lot of work to do. I'm Michaela Wilkes, and I'm running as who I am for who we are. That is a brilliant ad. Good for her. That is so clean, so direct, yep. so on point, so honest. I mean, i got to learn more, but that's amazing. Yeah, that's pretty impressive stuff. Um, Steny Hoyer couldn't be a better person to primary, frankly. He sits in front uh, of the camera and he's like, I've been working closely with <laughs> Agra. And oil and energy lobbyists for decades. I'm glad she said about ending cash bail because I wanted to make it possible also to use your credit card. (laughs) (laughs) Apple Pay. Yeah. (laughs) Why is there any reason we can't use Venmo to take money out of people's accounts? We're working with Jack Dorsey. He's got a new proposal here. Part of the problem is that we only allow 30% uh, interest rates on... uh, on uh, on ca- on bail. And so what I want to do is jack that up to sixty five percent. I'm going to introduce a segment or uh, a program called uh, "Positive Tweets About Moderate Democrats for Bail." Uh. <laughs> Man, Stingray is such trash.